A newly renovated safari lodge is preparing to open its doors in the western end of the Zambezi National Park in Zimbabwe, offering guests unrivaled luxury in one of the world's most breathtaking natural settings. It's one of the few black female-owned establishments in Africa. I sat down with businesswoman Fimbai Masiwa to talk about this exciting venture. Batoka Lodge opens in Victoria Falls this October. Talk to us about that. What can those that are looking to visit expect? So what opens is um, our flagship property, Zambezi Sands. It sits in the Zambezi National Park on the river bank. Um, and it's 10 tented suites, um, you know, to the highest standard of luxury. We've also got a family suite that will be opening, which is a three-bedroom suite for people who travel with younger children, probably eight and above. Um, it's because it's in the national park, you will expect to see a lot of wildlife. Um, sometimes walking up to the tents, um, perhaps if you're walking to breakfast. Um, you know, we put in a lot of wellness um, programming as well. So we will have um, some spa treatments available. Um, we're looking at providing sunrise yoga for those who are interested. It really is supposed to create a sanctuary um, and a place for people to take breaks. One of the things we noticed during the pandemic was the increase of travel regionally, um, particularly actually to South Africa, where people were spending time going to the bush um, or just, you know, taking out of the city, out of the city breaks. And um, we're kind of making sure that we pick up on some of those individuals. So we are pushing regional travel a lot, um, encouraging all of our surrounding countries to also come and visit Victoria Falls, um, take a weekend break. And, you know, we create that sanctuary, great food, um, great ambiance, and nature does its best at healing us. I mean, you talk about some of the finest uh, luxury um, available. Do you expect many Zimbabweans to, to, visit your, to visit your property? Are there specials that you will uh, offer, you know, in the, in the, in the off-season? Because uh, one can only imagine that... Uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit dear uh, and out of reach for, for, for many. But the, the experience, obviously, is something that like, uh, many people would like to, to enjoy. Yeah, we most certainly are. Um, having Zimbabweans have an opportunity to visit our properties and spend time at our property is very important to us. Um, so we do have special rates um, for locals and we have special rates for Africans as well um, because that, you know, that business is important. We're trying to do something different here. Um, we're trying to promote African luxury um, made by Africans and it should be for Africans. So I don't see why not. Obviously that, you know, as a business, a lot of the decisions that we're making, they don't make business sense um, immediately. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it's, it's the transformation of the continent that we want to see. One of the things that many of us would have noticed during the pandemic is, you know, the world is ready for Africa to s sail on its own. Um, the time of aid and handouts is gone. Um, and, you know, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's now very hard for us to get to Europe, for us to get to the US. Um, but we still want to experience something different. Um, so it's important that we, we create room for people to be able to do that. Now, you, you've packaged this as, as ecotourism, yeah. you know, which speaks to, to conservation uh, and similar. What are, what are your plans around that? What are you, what are you doing within that uh, uh, Zimbezi area? So for starters, our camp is um, a solar-powered camp. Um, and then we are participating in particularly anti-poaching activities alongside, because it's a national park, alongside the... Um, National Parks Association, so um, removing snares, um, having our guides do um, some of the, the cleanup initiatives, just uh, checking on the wildlife that's in the area. Um, and, you know, in due time, we'll be looking at how we can bring in different technology to enhance the wildlife experience for our guests.